Hi, I'm Cisco with Acrobotic and today we're going to be talking about how to get started with the Wemos D1 Mini development board for the ESP8266 microcontroller. The D1 Mini offers a great alternative to the very popular Node MCU dev kit that you've seen us use in other tutorials. In another video, we go over the differences between the two boards, but for right now, let's focus on getting code running on the D1 Mini. There are several ways on how to get your code running on the Wemos D1 Mini, but in our experience, the simplest one is using the Arduino IDE. So if you haven't done so, let's go ahead and navigate to their website, go to the software section, and download the latest version that you can find for your operating system. Once that's done, go ahead and unzip the file. The next thing we'll need to do is install USB drivers so that your computer can communicate with the D1 Mini development board. This is a potential pitfall for new users because those drivers depend on the actual board you're using. In our case, we need to find the drivers for a chip that's called the CH340G Whereas, if we were using the Node MCU dev kit, we would need a different set of USB drivers. Using the link provided in the description, go ahead and download the file. Unzip the file. Before we do anything else, let's go ahead and test to see whether the board is recognized by the operating system without installing the drivers. We can connect the board over USB. Open up the terminal app and run the command ls def cu.star. Notice that the different entries that are shown do not correspond to the board that we're using. Now, if we go through the installation process, The installation process will require you to restart your computer, so go ahead and do that now. After the restart, if we run the command again, then we can see that there is a new entry that corresponds to the board that's connected. The next thing we need is to go to the Arduino IDE. Go to the preferences and using the link provided in the description of the video, you can go ahead and paste it in the field for additional boards manager URLs. Hit OK. We need that link in order to get the ESP8266 development board configured through the Arduino IDE. We can go through the Tools menu, select the Board option and Boards Manager, search for the ESP8266, click on it and install the latest version. Once that's done, we can hit Close and we have to make sure that we select the correct board and also the correct port for the development board that's connected to the computer. In this case, is the Wemos D1 Mini. And for the port, we'll use the one that we just listed on the terminal. So now we can go ahead and add any code we want. For example, if we wanted to blink the built-in LED on the board, we can configure pin two to be an output. And then on the main loop, we can use the digital write function in order to switch the state of the pin. But the way we're going to be doing that is by using a simple trick of inverting the result of the digital read. We'll of course add a one second delay so that we can see the LED blinking. Go ahead and save your code and upload it to the board. And 
Once the process completes, you should see a little blue LED on your board blinking once per second. If you like our videos, you can go to our channel and click on the support button, but whatever you do, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave us a comment. Until next time.